Hello everyone, what's going on? My name is Heen, and today we are going to be playing some Minecraft again. But this time, as you can see from the screen in front of me, we are going to be playing some Feed the Beast on Stable. And uh, I chose this mod pack from the Feed the Beast packs because it is one of the first ones to use Minecraft version 1.8. And uh, I know the uh, the modding community in Minecraft is working very hard to switch over their, uh, their mod files from 1.7.10 to the appropriate versions of 1.8 that have been coming out since Microsoft's acquisition 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 ac Activision acquisition Accusi since they acquired Minecraft uh, and they changed a bunch of the, uh, the Java class files around and how a lot of the uh, structure was um, so yeah uh, with the modders hard at work, we have some of the modders that have pushed through, and maybe some new modders as well. I uh, have not played this mod pack before, so this is the first time we're going to jump into it. And as you see right here, Feed the Beast 1.8.9 Test Mod Pack. Limited support will be provided. Frequent world resets may occur with updates, as mods will be removed and added to this pack over time. So okay, let's jump right into it. Come on Java. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, I'm looking at I'm looking at some dirt. Oh, I'm also looking at some. Uh, Oh, whoa, okay, okay, there's a lot of text in front of me, a lot of text, let's read that text, support issues at GitHub, welcome to the server, running an outdated version of IGW mod, which will not work properly with Minecraft, sad base, please update, Minecraft unstable, okay, so it also told me that the mod was unstable, was the one that wanted to work properly with that one, and the thing, and it's, it's feed the beast unstable, it's Unstable on purpose. I'm getting it now. These are just rabbits with hats on them. What was that? I heard something. Heard, unless it was like the noise that the rabbits make. Hello, Mr. Sheep. You're not wearing a hat. Some good things for me. But actually, we need to kill you because you have wool in you and we need that for reasons. Just got some of that. Let's take you down too. Wait, what was that? What did it say? Crack? Oh, let's hit them again. Oof. <laughs> Crash. Crack. I don't know. It's not saying critical. I know that. Which is what it is. I can't even read it. It seems so fast. Th thrash. Crash. Pow. It's got like comic book style. Wham. Zap. Wham. Runch. <laughs> zap. <laughs> good. There it is. Wow, I'm pretty good at messing that up. There we go. And we're back at it. Let's not go to that. Let's not live in a desert biome, because that is uh, always the worst thing you could do. Diamond gravel? <laughs> Blue gravel? Lo Lonesium? Oh. It, it's like a gravel-based store. That's kind of cool. It's the first time I'm seeing that, other than the, uh, the one that actually had like the regular ores, but... Gravel form. I do like how the uh, the dirt texture looks, how it's extended. I'm not sure if that's for 1.8 or part of a mod. I believe it's part of a mod, though. This is a rubber tree from a hydraulic craft. Uh, texture on it looks uh, looks okay. It looks a little strange. It looks like a birch wood tree. Oh, that's not good. Well, that's going south. So the block is actually smaller than a regular block as well. Okay, so that is the slime island, but it's creating a lot of darkness over there. Sort of with that. Is that a great wood tree? Do we have Thomcraft? That does look like a great wood tree. And it is, look at that, Thomcraft. Very nice. So Thomcraft has been ported over. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press U and it's gonna tell us all the things about this rubber tree wood. So I guess we actually can't make wood out of it, which is a shame. And it's n that sound. I do not like that sound. It's very strange. I'm hearing it right around here. Is that is that the bean sprout making that? Random things. A bean. Oh, 
Alrighty then. So I wonder if we have our friend Carpenter Blocks here. Ah, uh, mod was a great mod. Very nice utility for building. Uh, do we have any different kinds of beds, I guess? Nope, just one bed. Okay, I guess we're going to make the classic bed. Schwa and schwa. There we go. Good. No, I don't know. I, I saw it. Like the crafting recipe appeared before it was like finished building. Right, I guess it did finish when I put it in there. Okay. Just going to solve the bed a bit. There we go. We have a bed. Um, we have lonesium. What do I do with lonesium? This is from Hydraulic Craft. Uh, if I use a washer, I can use the washer to get refined lonesium. And with refined lonesium, I can get. That's in a filter with oil and fluorocarbon fluid. I can get dirty mineral. And that's one dirty mineral. With the dirty mineral, I can get. Uh, oh wait. Oh, maybe it's a it's it's a it's a vibra it's a, like a catalyst almost. So I get refined lonesium out of it or something. Oh, I'm a little confused. Oh yeah, there's there's a blue slime. Hello there. Hello there, friend. Oh, fa. Boom, boom. Defeated. Yeah, there we go. We got some blue slime balls going. So I guess these guys will keep dropping down as well. Oof. Boom. Bam. Smack. I do like the uh, the critical hit changes. Very subtle, but very very good indeed. Okay. So you have. Oh, look at the sounds. Uh. A little mushy there. Let's make ourselves a furnace. Throw that down right here. And we will use our rubber tree wood to start cooking stuff. So I think we can cook a lot of our mutton. And this cannot be turned into coal, I'm guessing. Oh, what has happened? Oh, it took it out automatically. That's kind of interesting. There we go, we got some mutton. And that is the uh, the default Minecraft mutton. Which is good. It's good stuff. I really don't like that sound that we get. Wait, maybe it's the speed we get when we jump? Because it does make a lot of strange noises when we walk through things. Well, that's nothing. Uh, let's throw down these rubber trees. Even though they're not really useful too much, we're just going to uh, use them as fuel for now. Our coal should be long done. Got some torches. Uh, so let's head down to the mine here. Try to get some iron. And then we'll look at some of the crafting recipes for what we can do with our iron. We've got a lot of mods around now. They're underground. Okay, good. That would not have been good. Let's throw these in. This go. Oh look, we got some great wood saplings as well. Very nice. I didn't think they would start dropping until the tree came all the way down. Uh, I'm not sure if that's intentional for the creator of Farmcraft, because normally uh, the great wood saplings seem to drop a lot less frequently. Uh, same goes for the uh, well, the silverwood trees. But I have not found a silverwood tree, so actually that might have been intentional for them to drop at that rate. Try to break these guys with your hand. There we go. And we should have our iron done. We do. Press U on it. And we can make uh, tapes. Interesting. Upgrade for a mod called Bagginess. Bag bagginess? Baggin bagginess? Baggin seas? I don't know. Oh, look at these. There's a lot of stuff you can make here. Iron, ca iron casing from Intangible. A furnace generator from Neotech. Basic R of storage. There we go. I didn't think we'd see redstone flux this soon. Empty motherboard. Hard drive upgrade. A wrench. Mineral storage book. Cascading miner. Oh. Very cool. Burning aura amp. A, f <laughs> A furnace. A furnace. I kind of want to make the furnace. For that, we'd, uh, look at that, right there. It tells you uh, what else it'll, it'll accept. 
Like if it has some variance into what it can use, right there, see? Accepts any standstone, and for here it says accepts any sand. Very cool indeed. Uh, from, God, not enough items. No, too many items? No, just enough items. There we go. You know what, screw it. We're going to run a little long, guys. We're going to make a furnace. We're going to make a, a furnace, and we're going to see what the furnace is all about. We have enough to make the furnace. So let's make a furnace real quick. Two pieces of sand, two pieces of iron, and I'll just throw them on the ground because I forgot to make a second furnace. What am I talking about? The front of the furnace is right here. Aha. Evolving. Two iron. Bricks and two pieces of sand. There we go, a furnace. And it even has a recipe for uh, Plumcraft. Cool. And this is by the man who made the mod called Furnace. So let's put down the Furnace. Okay. Uh, it has a slightly different GUI here. Experience. Can I give it experience? Something? I don't know. Uh, I guess. I guess the first thing we should do to try to figure out how it's working is just cook some things. Uh, let's cook. Uh, let's cook this piece of. Uh, this, piece of let's cook this piece of iron. Oh, let's grab some. Let's go grab some more of this uh, tree first. Let's grab another piece of the tree. We'll use that as fuel. Let's quickly cook that up. So it's gonna automatically go into the burn slot. And I'll put that into the upper slot here, and let's see. So that's gonna go. And when our furnace finishes, look at that. Like this seems to be some kind of byproduct as well. And that's about it. Um, same old iron. And let's let's do that. Let's repeat the process with like some cobblestone. Turn it into some stone, I guess. I really need to find out what that sound is. That sound is really unpleasant. Yeah, that, that, that's like a growling. That is really unpleasant. Uh, so let's see, has it done anything? It says speed one one times. Fuel consumption still one times. Bonus 0% XP one times. Um, made an experience noise, but I don't think we actually like give it experience or something. I'm not actually sure how the furnace works. Uh, and since we can't really look up mod uh, mod names, oh, there we go. Use at for mod name. There we go. So let's do at furnace. Okay. So as it turns out, uh, my key to stop the recording is at. Um. So let's not do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> we have we have the furnace. We have the pulvis. And we have upgrades. Speed upgrade, efficiency upgrade, IO upgrade, slot upgrade, uh, bonus upgrade, XP upgrade, eco upgrade, and we have iron and gold dust that could be produced by the pulvis. And I'm assuming there's more dusts from more ores that we don't know of. Yeah, there's some uh, dust of all types here. I really don't like this dust uh, picture there. I much more rather before prefer this kind. The kind I'm much more accustomed to. Uh, hydraulic craft, once again. Just, you know, just let... Just do what you need to do. Uh, just keep your... Uh, Keep your uh, graphical ideas a little bit toned down a little bit. I think I think that'll be good for everyone. Uh, oh, geez, I just type an at 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 at. Uh, no, I can actually type up upgrade. Yeah, I want to figure out how to make these upgrades. So we can make the upgrades with redstone, iron, gold, and some clay. And all of them have some kind of upgrade like that. Oh, this one, the slot upgrade is actually takes diamonds. The bonus upgrade will need an emerald. XP upgrade will need some slime. And I actually will not accept the blue slime balls. The eco upgrade is going to use some blaze powder and some coal. These are the same. We have a lot of funky things going on in this mod pack. 
And I probably held you guys for a little bit longer than I'd like to. Oh, hey. No, it's 16. Okay, we're good. Uh, so, this has been uh, Feed the Beast on Stable. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, uh, subscribe, or comment below. Um, and we'll hopefully see each other again very soon. This is Heen, signing out.